Hello and welcome to PC Engine Classics. In this installment, the game is Blazing Lasers, which was released by Hudson Soft in 1989 for the PC Engine. Blazing Lasers is an early example of just how awesome the PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16 were for vertical uh, and horizontal shoot-'em-ups. This was the bread and butter, just like the Sega Genesis. Um, so let's check out this incredible game. So of course you have two different um, simple actions. You can shoot and you can uh, set, set bombs. Like a lot of excellent games for the PC Engine, um, the weapons are all varied and there's a lot of different pa variety in the power-ups. So I'm going to stick with uh, third wave action. I like this weapon. Or maybe it was the second one. Yeah, I guess it was the second one. Alright, well I got the thunder right now, and that's pretty cool. So the music doesn't particularly impress me, and I guess it's because it was early in the system's life. But I gotta love the variety of the weapons here. I'm just gonna stick to this one for a while. Now these kind of games that have the star field in the background um, are sometimes a little bit hard to uh, show up on the camera, so if there's any blurring or anything like that, it's, there's nothing really I can do about it with my current setup, so I apologize for that. Because of my ridiculous power-ups, um, that boss was nothing. But of course, it's the first boss in the game, so of course the boss is going to be nothing. But rest assured that this game does get much more challenging as it progresses, just like you'd normally expect from a game like this. Again, changed my weapon configuration. And that's a pretty cool effect. Come on, background so that the camera can focus again. Thank you. Nope, don't want it. Was... Uh oh, got hit. Not cool, not cool.
this game just has so much variety in it. You know, I think that, um, well, what's the company that makes, uh, Compile? I, th I would think that this would be like a Compile shooter. Because this game even puts those games to shame with its variety that it has. So many different types of weapon configurations. Oh, I got killed again. Try and pay a little bit more attention now. This game um, actually doesn't need to be um, turbo enabled to fire rapidly like I'm doing here. Um, that just happens if you just simply hold down the button. Even with my weak-ass skills with these kind of games, I managed to beat the first stage. Hooray for me! say about this game is I really like its um, choice of colors. Like the sort of contrast between the blues and the reds here um, really makes this stand out, especially for a spaceship shooter like this, where you normally expect everything to be kind of mm, dollish colors. The elaborate colors really do um, help to um, separate this game from the many, many other games like this on the PC Engine. The other thing is, every time I pick up the uh, the S icon, I always think that it's a sp uh, like it's a speed up ability, which are usually a bad thing to pick up in these type of games because if you speed up too much, you'll be uh, super maneuverable and it'll be hard to control. It's just the same as being um, not uh, being too slow. It's just why like, why in when I play a Gradius or uh, a Proteus game, I like to pick up maybe two or three um, speed up abilities at most and not pick up uh, anything beyond that because beyond that you know it's actually a detriment to be too speedy. So anyway, um, like I was saying, the, the reason why um, 
I, I try to avoid them is because I think that they're speed up, but, but in this game I remember they're shields, S is shield, so it's too bad that uh, it's a little bit confusing that way. But I guess it's my own fault. Played too many games like this, so naturally just assume that it's a speed up ability and not a power up ability. I should have called them force fields or something, you know, rather than S for, for speed. Or how about SH? Yeah, that would have helped. Being a fairly early game for the system, um, it is kind of impressive how many sprites are on screen all at once. Um, there's a lot going on here. And with the variety of weapons, like I said before, I, I'm surprised this wasn't made by Compile, because, you know, Compile shooters, generally speaking, have a crazy number of power-ups. Everything from Gun Mac on the NES to, um... Power Strike 2 on the Master System. The bosses are cool, though. I also like that there's no real pause, that the battles um, just continue right after the boss, you know, they'll just keep going, you know. And that's a very Hudson Soft thing to do. As I believe that a number of their earlier titles um, did very similar things.
and I just got an extra life. And then I died. <laughs> of course, when you die, just like in pretty much every shooter, you'll immediately lose your power-ups. I could be mistaken, but I don't believe this game was on any arcade system or ported anything else except for the PC Engine and uh, Turbo Graphics. This was like an exclusive title that uh, Hudson Soft made for that system. Oh, I just realized I'm importing my bombs, so... Since this is my last life... Bombs away. Bombs are always really cool to use in these type of games. Alright, looks like I've made it to the boss, which means I can spam my 15 bombs with my last life I have. Turning color means it's taking damage. Video game logic. I love those FM synth uh, drums that you <laughs> sound. found. So primitive yet so good. Hey, look this stage, my camera should be able to pick this up fairly easily. Bombs. Really, the one real complaint I have against this game is the fact that the music is just kind of... Bleh. The PC Engine was capable of some pretty incredible um, tunes, so... This one is just kind of has that, I don't know, early, lazy-ish vibe to it, where maybe their composer was not that skilled, or... Maybe they just didn't care that much to put in incredible music into a game like this, but it just seems like it's uh, it, like it's a little bit wasted effort. Or, you know, it's an unfortunate effort. Where this game could have been better if it had better music. Because, you know, I think of a lot of games that are uh, classic in this genre, and I think of their incredible music they have, like, you know, Gradius or, uh, you know, pretty much any Konami game or Filios or... I don't know why that game came to mind, but anything, really. Um, there, there's so many examples of shooters that have really good music, and this game isn't just, is just not one of them. So, oh, looks I have a zero life. <laughs> and then I <laughs> used it. Whoops. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this game, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below, and also like to know um, what PC Engine games you want me to cover in the future, because, you know, I want to do games that I aren't, I'm not necessarily familiar with, 
um, even though I am familiar with a good amount of the PC Engine library. So let me know what games you want to see, and I'll sort of try and work them in with the games that I'm going to um, show in my schedule. So, like I said, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you um, like this video, please click that like button, because clicking that like button supports my channel and also lets me know that, I want to m that you guys want me to make more uh, videos of the PC Engine Classic series, um, which is something that's fairly new, and it's something I want to continue with. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.